All right, so I'm just gonna just kill this here and we'll pull up a little more thing here real quick, right? All right, so look, so um, I almost lost track where we're at here. So we're getting ready now to restore our, um, our router back to, uh, you know, stock firmware, right? So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to, you know, in open war, you go here, you're gonna go into firmware, so backup flash firmware, right? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna flash a new image and you're going to have downloaded your um, uh, your router's firmware. So, you know, I got, you know, I did link side, 3200, once you download, right? And look, see, so I go here, this looks like this might be should be it. It looks like that might that should be it. I tr try to pay attention, right, to <laughs> where you're downloading from too, right? I, you you want to stick with like the actual manufacturer website. Not to say that, that the other ones might not also work, but just uh, you do want to be careful. And here we go, right? So see, so version one point whatever it actually released it two years ago, which is interesting. That's an old router, uh, well semi old router, but uh, yeah, hit download. Um, at which I already did that and then we can go ahead and then flash it so you'll need to open it up right the firmware oh here it is there you go all right so it's going to open that up upload right and then you're going to get all these uh, things here right this is fine right you want to uncheck make sure uncheck but you're going to force upgrade right and what this is going to do is, um, like I said, because since this is obviously the manufacturer's firmware and not open war, like it's not it's not going to know anything about it, right? It's going to give you all these like crazy things. Force upgrade. Just make sure you are uh, you are definitely <laughs> obviously flashing the right firmware uh, to your device, because if not, you will destroy it, and then you know it is what it is. Luckily for this particular router, um, Link Side Thirty Two. WRT3200 has that do boot thing that I showed you guys earlier. So uh, worst case, if for whatever reason it didn't work, we could get back into the other partition and then try again or do something else. Hopefully, right? So, all right, so here we are, right? So now we're gonna get and flash it. Now here's the thing, right? Speaking of that dual boot partition, that also means that Open War is still technically installed on the router right and you want to do an absolute clear clean in installation so what you're going to need to do is like after this is done flashing you're going to have to flash it again so you're going to like boot up into link size uh, router page and you're going to need to re-upload the same image and then do it again if you want to go ahead and make sure that it is wiped from both partitions and it is completely off the system that's the only way to that's the only way you can do this all right so just realize that you gotta pay attention to it if you have a regular <laughs> regular internet setup you would have known that it went back to normal because if you was connected to it via the LAN and not wireless should have showed you that you was reconnected right otherwise you just need to like check it out so I'm gonna go here into my thing I'm a Bob here and make sure I'm, I am record I am cool all right so I'm gonna go here and look at that man that looks weird but there you go, right? So it's it's up, and uh, this is the IP address for the router. So let me go ahead then and uh, sign into that. And as you can see, because this will not change, um, so let me go ahead and uh, what it, it's because I've done this before already. So boom, right? So Linksign routers, if they are not, if they have not been updated and it's rocking default, the default passwords default usernames or passwords that they use on most routers should work so for this one i believe it's just admin right you you'll you might have to do a quick google search to just see the default password used by your manufacturer's router and go from there but here so i'm in all right as you can see this is not open work no more we don't have open work no more but now what i need to do is I'm going to install the firmware one more time and this will completely clear it off of uh, a clear open war off the router because again like I said like if I was to do the doable thing where as you guys saw I had turned it off and on three times after the third time turning it off and th and then back on so fourth time it being on right is going to boot into the other partition 
So I just need to figure out where in the world do they put. It's actually, it's here in connectivity, router from route date. I looked at that before and I just like missed it. Uh, so obviously you're going to choose file and now we are going to reinstall the same uh, firmware. And we're going to re, uh, you know, re-download that same exact uh, file, right? So as you see, this, you see, open work. See, this one doesn't give you no, uh, no issues or nothing here or complain about nothing. So you can just go ahead and just straight up install it. So now I'm doing it again the second time. So now that this has been installed or is being installed the second time, this is how you straight up wipe the router. All right. So now what we're going to do is now that we have that, now let's talk about actually uh, installing open wart onto the um, onto the link side. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to kill the video here and we're going to do another one um, with open wart being installed.